Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Hearthstone Arena. My name is Justin and today I'm going to be joined by my brother Daniel. Daniel, what's up? Not much, so we're going to be doing some arena here. Yep, we got to see what class we're going to do first. So let's see what three they give us. I'll let you decide. Okay. Alright. I think we definitely got to go with the Hunter. Why do you think Hunter? Because Hunter is really good at burst damage and we can get a lot of tempo and stuff like that. I haven't done Hunter in a while, so sure. Okay. Alright. Wow. Angry Chicken? Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. These are all like really terrible. I guess Flare. Yeah, Flare is probably the best. Okay. Um, Unleash the Hounds is good. It's more of a comeback card. Silent Knight's pretty strong. I don't really like Mookless Champion and Hunter because you don't really want to use the hero power that much in Hunter. No. It's not really good for board control. So I'm going to do Unleash the Hounds. Yeah. Um, these are all pretty good. Probably Fairy Dragon, though. Get some minions. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good two cost card. Mm. I'm thinking Harvest Golem. Harvest Golem? Okay. That's fine. Venture Mercenary is good, too. Uh, probably Bear Trap. Yeah. Get some secrets out there. Alright. Evil Heckler. Over those two garbage cards. Multi shots, pretty good removal. Horse rider. Uh, I, I guess harpy. I mean, it's nice to have a one drop, but with one health, it'll get pretty easily removed. Removed by mage or a druid or any of those type of class. Yeah. Um. Hmm, I don't really like harpy. I'm leaning towards razorfin hunter. It's a three mana, three four. So it's... 2-4. I mean, 2-3. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, with the 1-1 one, one boar, mm. it basically is a 3-mana three 3-4, three, because if you have those stats, I, th I mean, at least that's... Uh, uh. I think of it. It's kind of split. It's a little worse, because the boar is 1 health, so it's e so easy to deal with, but I'm going to go ahead and pick that. It's kind of better. Bomb Lover is actually really good for tempo, so we're going to do that one. Mm. Wow, we're having some crappy picks so far. I don't even know. I think Ogre and Magi might be better than Booty Bay Bodyguard. Yeah, we don't really have this that many. This is where uh, they were talking about um, creep because uh, look, evil heckler is literally the same stats and ability, but costs one mana less. Mm. So that's what people are complaining about. A while back, we'll do the magi. That kind of has some synergy with uh, uh, multi shot. Technically, probably won't ever see it happen, but I guess young priestess. I mean, because how many mechs do we have? One. Yeah, just one. Just one so far. So there's some synergy there. It probably is better than Young Priestess. I guess we're gonna do that. I don't. I've never really even played that card. Wow, this is gonna be terrible <laughs> arena. I can already tell. Um, mm. Let's see how many beasts we have. So what we have unleashed the Hounds combo. Yeah, and that could be really good if we. Fairy Dragon's not a beast. We had the Bear from Bear Trap. I guess mm. we'll go Hyena. Tomb Spider is actually pretty good. Um, volcanic Drake. We need some bigger stuff. Snake Trap's pretty good. Um, sea Giant. No. Definitely yeah, not. It has to be Snake Trap. Right. Desert Camel. Battle Cry. Put a one cost minion from each deck into the battlefield. Spoiler alert, we have no one cost minion, so <laughs> it's not going to be that good. Um, we could get it with the hopes. It's basically... Well, we have a dragon, actually, don't we? We have one dragon, we have two dragons. Just two dragons? Yeah, we have two dragons, so... Black Moon Technician might see the buff. If not, it yeah. is what it is. Ogre Brute, very good. Nice. Zombie Chow. That's fine. Finally, we get some good cards. Yes. Savannah. Um, Hound Master, we can buff uh, Savannah. Tomb Spider plus whatever that beast it gives us. Um, what else? The boar from Razorfin Hunter. Yeah, the boar, uh, Alicia the Hounds, Hyena. So quite a few. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and But get is that. that better than Yeti? Um, I think it is. 
because we have so many beasts in our deck right now, so we can usually always play it. All right, we'll go ahead and do that. So, okay. Force Tank Max, very good. Tomb Spider is good. That's another beast. Anubisass Sentinel. That is also pretty good. That requires you to basically have something on your board, though, when it's killed. I think Force Tank Max is probably good. We need at least one more big minion. Yeah. Okay. Um, Timberwolf. I mean, it's some beast synergy, but really, we're not going to want to have a 1-1-1. One, one, one. So I think Archmage is probably the best here. What do you think? You think Timberwolf? Um, no, I think Archmage we definitely need to go for. Okay. Uh, wow, now we're getting a bunch of big ones. I guess we get another Force Tank. Let's see, we got... As far as late game so far, we have Archmage, Savannah, High Main, Volcanic Drake, and Max. Volcanic Drake, of course, being semi-late game, because it's not... has four health, so it's pretty much killed by some three drops, so... Hmm... I guess this has some synergy with the um, Metal Tooth Leaper, so I will go with that. Ooh, more Dragon Synergy? Yeah, oh. that's better than the other cards, really. You sure you don't want Magma Rager? <laughs> no. Magma Rager Hype? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll do Black Wing Corruptor. We need some five drops anyways. Web Spinner is a freaking really good card in this draft. So is Bloodfin Raptor, but Web just, Spinner just is to have more so one drops. Better. Yeah, because that gives us another beast too. All right, and we're getting another Unleash the Hounds. Or do you think Antique Killbot? Antique Killbot's kind of slow for Arena. That's more, I think that's more geared towards construction. Yeah. Because, I mean, we want more stats. For five mana, you're only getting three, three. I mean, health isn't that important. I think we definitely need to go with the Unleash the Hounds. Animal Companion. It's pretty and good. there's also the ch chance of, like, a really good Frostwolf Warlord with uh, one of our Unleash the Hounds, but... I think Animal Companion. <laughs> wow, at this point, we have two Unleashed Hounds. Is it good enough card to get three of? I mean, it is, but should we take that over Houndmaster is the question. We already have a Houndmaster. Another one wouldn't hurt. Especially all the beasts we've been getting. Yeah, I think we need to go with a Houndmaster. All right. All right, yeah, I agree. And last. Hmm. Summoning stone. How many spells do we have? Let's see. We I think got we only have one. one. And I guess traps don't count as spells. We have multi-shot too. Okay, so we got two spells. That's still not going to justify it. Explorer's hat. Give a minion plus one plus one death rattle. Add an explorer's hat. That could become really useful in arena because unless they have a silence, which unlikely they won't, we're going to continue getting plus one plus one, which can help us trade better, trade up. And honestly, Argent Walk Watchmen... That's kind of trash, so yeah. I'm going to do Explorer's Hat. All right, well, if you look at the curve, we have... Uh, it's a semi-decent curve. I mean, we have not too many... Uh, my main concern is we don't have many early games, so we have two one-drops that are semi-decent. As far as two drops, we really only have two, and really, Hyena, we're not trying to play unless we use Unleash the Hound, so we're very limited. We have a couple traps that we can develop early on, which might help us. Uh, now, where we're going to have our strength is the three drops we have animal companion argent horse rider um, harvest golem and our ogre brute all very good of course we have a couple other ones that have synergies with other cards um, we have a couple removals i think uh, the fact that we have two unleash the hounds and multi-shot as well as um, bomb lobber and a couple fast cards like that it's gonna keep us in the game and then to finish it out we have savannah hymen and two force tank max which are excellent late game cards so if I had to make a prediction, I would think we will probably go six wins. Yeah, I was thinking about the same thing. Six to seven wins, and if we do better than that, I would be pretty surprised. Let's go ahead and jump into our first match. So looking forward, I'm actually going to probably be starting tomorrow with Constructed. I've been looking at a couple different decks. Um, I'm actually going to try to start with Malagos and um, work my way up the ladder with that. Now if it's too slow and the games are too long, I might end up switching to a faster deck, um, something that can get us up there faster, but alright, we got Mage. Alright, keeping over Ogre Brute for sure. 
Let's go ahead and replace the other three. That's pretty good. Uh, maybe if we draw a beast, we can use the Houndmaster. Right. We could even uh, go the, get the bear trap out, and then that technically will summon a beast. But yeah. Since he didn't play a minion, I'm just, I'm just going to develop the bear trap um, rather than coining out a three drop because uh, there's the chance that if I coin out the three drop, you might just. And wow, he's having a really slow start, so it's actually really good for us. All right, I think. Um, what do you think? I think um, Ogre Brute's so good, but Harvest Golem is a little stickier. Well, he doesn't have any minions out right now, and if you play the Ogre Brute, you'll if you miss, you'll more than likely take him out. So I think Ogre Brute's more stronger here. Yeah, uh, Ogre Brute's really strong, so I agree. Okay. Oh God. He got a really good draft. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see if this hits. Okay. And now I think coin bomb lobber just to get that cleared. And then next turn we will have we'll have a couple cards we can play out. We can do something with hero power. This will force him to fire blast this ogre brute. Okay, that's a good play as well. And right. we got both our hound masters. Looking good. <laughs> right. Alright, I'm just gonna develop that. I'm gonna save my hyena. I'm trying to save it for drawing some kind of unleash the hounds. Or at least we can play hyena with the hound master and keep it around longer. Playing as a 2 2 dies way too easy to multiple removals. All right, we need to get rid of that fast. Bam. We're not going to be able to get rid of that this turn. <laughs> but next turn, we should be able to use multi-shot. And now that we... Look, we got the spell damage. Mm. That's going to help out. Unleash the Hounds would be really good because we could multi-shot Unleash the Hounds. Hopefully he attacks our face and then we actually will have a uh, beast out. Yeah, I think that's what he's going to go for. If not, then he's going to destroy the golem. Yeah, he might try to clear the golem. <laughs> Which would be good for us, too. Killing it, lucky for us, we have the multi-shot. Killing it, it's not going to be that bad. Okay, so he's probably just going to kill the sheep then. <laughs> so this will actually work out perfectly for us. So we're gonna be able to do this, play this, and then play out the Razor Pin Hunter. And let's double check to make sure this boar is a beast. Okay. For some reason I was thinking maybe it was one of those weird cards that yeah. more it wasn't. Oh um, no. <laughs> He's <laughs> this is this not is... good. This could we need turn to hurry into up a very win. bad game. <laughs> We need to hurry up and win at this point. All right, you can play both your town masters on that board, but is that a good play? Mm, I don't think it's the best play. What I think actually is a pretty good play is let's. I mean, obviously we're gonna throw the web spinner out. Um, I think we should do this out, trade this in, and then we can go ahead and taunt up the web spinner. Wow. Okay. At least we got a good beast. Yeah. And we got our ton out. Well, I'm actually going to not play the beast right now because I'd rather actually just get the board control back by killing this. Let's go ahead and flare, see if we can draw into a good three drop. Alright, I'm just going to play down Technician, even though there's no Dragon. We need to get that out. Because if he gets that Golden Monkey, it's going to be really bad for us. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> this, is, this is not good. 
Alright, we need like some good cards now, like some Savannah High Mains. Let's go ahead and discover a Savannah High Main real quick. Okay, not quite. Um We haven't got any of our Unleashed the Hounds, nothing yet. Hmm. I'm guessing a tiger at this point would be pretty good. I don't even think we've gotten a six drop yet, have we? No, we haven't had the best of luck, and he had two flame strikes so far. And, and a gold monkey. No. Yeah. But no worries, game's not over yet. We still have a decent board control. He's going to be able to trade really well with that Team Spider, but... Or that, I guess. Hmm, okay. We really need something. Okay, Animal Companion is a good draw for us. That's really good for us. Alright. If he has another flame strike, I'm I'm quitting the game. <laughs> I'm literally I'm literally leaving the game if he has another flame strike. Wow. This guy got a really good draft. Not even that, it's just a really good draw so far for him. Alright, so... I'm hoping he doesn't have too many battle cries. Attack with your horseman first. Where would I attack? Um, to the 4-4, probably. Is it that 4-4? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I mean, because we can actually get some more value out of this Leoc by trading it to this. I mean, I don't think he's going to have more battle cries, and even if it is, just plus one, plus one, which still dies from our beast. So hopefully he has to trade these two in for the beast. Played. I was hoping Indeed. he drew into the golden monkey so we at least could see some legendaries. He probably has it now or not. Well, that was a terrible first game, but I think we can do better. Well, he just had really good draw, and we didn't get the cards we needed when we needed them. I and mean, we didn't have a terrible start, but and we had board control, but he was able to hold on while using those flame strikes and. Yeah. It happens like that sometimes, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and get into our second match. I was trying to kind of look back at our play to see if there's any misplays, but I don't know if we did anything particularly wrong. Another mage. Okay. Um, Not a bad start. Definitely gonna get all these replaced. Okay, we got one of our one drops. That's good. Coin Fire Blast? Hmm. Wouldn't really benefit him that much if he did. Uh oh. Yes. yes. So he's probably gonna fire blast this, I imagine, and go face, which is gonna spawn our 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Ooh, okay. That's actually a pretty good drop for us, though. If we get that divine tank again. Yeah. That'd be really, really nice. <laughs> but I'm gonna play, uh, I mean, hmm. Kind of want to play on curve. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this only because if it forces him to use fire blast, then that pretty much means he can only play one drop, which is kind of good for us. I'm 
No need to rush. It, sometimes you feel like you want to rush and to play the king's out because you want to draw, but staying on curve is sometimes better. You don't really want to use your hero power as hunter unless you have absolutely nothing else to use it on. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and play out. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and play King's Alec and then Snake Trap. This is going to be good for us. See if we get the draw. Uh, Dang. No luck. Never lucky. <laughs> Now, if he has a Kazan Mystic... Nah, there's no way. So if he attacks face, bears in the spawn. And we can bomb lobber this down, which will give us a really good tempo next turn. Pretty good turn for us. Um, okay, coin. Okay, I mean that's still pretty good for us. We're still gonna get a really good bomb lobber. So we're gonna attack this and then throw out this. And either way, either target's good. We're hoping for the mech, but that's still pretty good for us. So now you will probably fire blast down the Elec and maybe try to clear the bomb lobber. But it's gonna freeze us. <laughs> Five drop? Nah, he's not gonna resist the urge to fire blast. It's just too good of a trade for him right now. Yeah. And that's all he's gonna do for that turn. So we're just going to go ahead and trade this and throw out our Archmage. We're doing pretty good right now, but as we saw last game, even if you have a positive board control, you can get screwed over by Mage. So I'm going to be cautiously optimistic right now. <laughs> Dang. It's pretty good for him. But we got two really strong turns coming up. So, as long as we keep the board control. He just blew a polymorph on a 4-7. But we have a 7-7 seven, seven Divine Shield coming out. So, even though that kind of looks like it sucks, it's actually kind of good to get that knocked out. You want it? I got it. Flame Strike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one our luck right now, probably. <laughs> Kind of hoping he develops another minion because then we can actually multi shot that, which would be such a powerful tempo swing for us. Mm, yeah. Apparently, there's a couple options. Is he gonna play? Okay, he's just gonna fire blast, which is fine. Now, the question becomes here whether or not I trade or I. Um, well, I'm obviously gonna play out this. But should I trade or hit face here? Um. Probably trade in case he has flame strike. Yeah. Or it draws into it, unless he got it from that. <laughs> Power Blast Divine Shield, maybe. Explorer's Hat is such an interesting card, um, especially in Arena, because essentially it kind of reminds me a little bit of Dreadsteed, um, in the sense that you constantly get a plus one plus one every on every turn uh, but it does cost more mana oh crap that's such a good card for arena it's particularly good if yeah it's all right you know what would be so crazy if we got right now would be um that one card that gives all of our mechs plus two <laughs> yeah That'd be pretty insane. Because we literally, next turn, would have three mechs to play that buff on. That'd be like a Savage War. <laughs> still waiting on him to hit one of our minions so that we can get the Snake Trap activated. 
being really cautious. I think he knows what it is. Yeah, there's only so many choices of what it could be. Maybe it could be Dart Trap. Well, he's gonna trade now, probably. This guy literally has so much removal. Now I'm kind of scared to... Okay, that's good. That's a very good draw for us. I'm going to play that out. And... I would give the hat to the um, tank so he can survive flame strike. Well, technically, if we... I mean, even if we did that, we would still die from flame strike because he could fire blast it. I mean, it would force him to fire blast, so I guess we can do that. We have, we have enough mana to do that and hero power, so that works out. You know, I don't really want to develop the Harvest Golem right now and kind of wait on that. We have a very strong board control right now. Oh shit. Dang. Wow. wow. This is going to be a good multi shot, sort of. I mean, I don't even know if it's worth multi shotting right now. Master is going to be really good. Uh, I guess I'll play that out. And then multi shot. We look to be winning, but you never know nowadays in an arena. Oh, you got a pretty good card from that secret. Do you know what secret it is? It was three mana. <laughs> hmm, could be one of like five, so. Right. Yes, Metal Tooth Leaper, hype. Pretty good draw. <laughs> Alright. So, so trade the four three? If it's let's see if it's mirror entity or duplicate, it's one of those. So do we have lethal? Uh, well, we would, we actually kind of missed lethal, didn't we? Yeah. Eleven, fifteen, nine, seventeen. Probably should have. That's fine. We'll play it slow. Play it slow. Be safe. Flame Strike would be devastating right now, but we still have lethal after that. I hope you like my invention. Novice into Flame Strike? No. But two hundred for Grizzly, dang, how many does he have? <laughs> well that's from the du duplicate. Still lethal. Sorry bro. That's how we want it to go every time. Whew. Still haven't gotten our Unleash the Hounds. I know. We're also completing our quest, apparently, as we're doing this. All right, let's go ahead and queue up the third game. 1-1 one, one so far. If we get that kind of draw every game, I think we'll be good. But, of course, variance. There's going to be some games where we just don't draw that well. Hopefully we get something else besides a mage. Mix it up a little bit. I know, I'm getting tired of facing mage already. But everyone picks mage because it's arena. But we got Malfurion Storm Rage. You want to give us a little a little lore on Malfurion? You wanna, you up to the lore challenge right now? Nah. Nah, not right now? Aw, oh, dang. It'd be cool to... I don't think a lot of Hearthstone players know about the lore of some of these... Heroes. I know um, Disguise Toast went into some of it, but we actually got the Volcanic Drake in our hand. We have both dragons in our hand, so if we can draw on the Blackwing Technician, that would be really good. Yeah. Alright. 
Nothing for turn one. Turn two fairy dragon is actually kind of strong if they don't have a turn one because they can't target it down with the spell. But it looks like he's going to coin out something. Okay, huge toad. Go ahead and play the fairy dragon. Wow, it's pretty good for him. <laughs> See, unfortunate part about Hunter is there's no way to really clear one health minions like Mage and Druids have. Mm. So in this case, we're just gonna have to flare and pass. It's not looking good for us right now. He is getting some nasty marks. Yes, he is. There's not much we can do about it right now. There's not, I have nothing to clear it. This is the one fear I had for this deck is there's not, and one thing that kind of is not great for Hunter is, unless you get kill commands and a bunch of multi shots, there's not a lot of removal. Well, we do have a really strong turn six, but it might be too late. And honestly, the highest tempo might be to actually play Metal Tooth Le Le Leaper to actually clear this 5-5. Five five. So hopefully we get a, if we can get Black Moon Technician, that would be a very strong turn for us. But we do have the advantage of having Zombie Chow on their board, so we can get some health back, hopefully. Because right now we're getting beat, beat down pretty hard. Right now he has at least 11 damage on the board. <laughs> if he decides to uncover Silent Knight. <laughs> that helps us. Yeah, it's good that we got that. That's gonna actually help us get out Volcanic Drake and Melitude Leaper. Now, if we drew, dang. <laughs> this could actually be really good if we get Leoc. So here's what we gotta do. This is gonna be a complicated play, but I think it's the best play right now. We have to, so let's see how many minions are gonna die. We're gonna have at least, at least five minions die, which is gonna make this one mana. So let's go ahead and play out Melitude Leaper. We're going to do this. Do this. It's gonna oh, we're hoping it misses the snakes. Looks like it killed one of our snakes. And we can actually do this. I think that's about the best we could have done there. Definitely got some tempo back, but it just might have been too late. Um, it's my prediction. A little bit too late. Yeah. Unfortunately. He's going to actually go ahead and hit face. That might actually be a mistake from his part unless he has some... That actually could be a huge mistake on his part. <laughs> Let's see if we can get Huffer. Well, yeah, well, just trying to think. Actually, the best play right now would be to play out this. No, because we can't explore his hat if we do that. <laughs> what to do, what to do. Okay, Tomb Spider. Hungry crab value though. Hungry crab? 
<laughs> I don't think Asimov is that great. We might just have to get web spinner. Which would actually actually is pretty good right now. A swipe would be deadly right now. <laughs> Perfect swipe value, but we're kinda hoping he doesn't have that. If we if we can get back board control, we actually have insanely powerful hand. We probably can stabilize and win this game. But it's just gonna be a matter of getting that board control back. Now Okay, that's actually good for us. We'll get that explorer's hat back. This is actually looking pretty good for us. Let's go ahead and develop. I think I don't really want to play out force tank max. It's kind of slow. We might be able to. Well, I think animal companion and be the best. And ogre magic. Yeah. We got the taunt, so I'll be good. All right. That has a lot of good six drops. Right? <laughs> They're having a lot of good draft. Those marks. Everyone's good at arena nowadays. It's kind of crazy. Um, probably put it on the web spinner. That's probably a misplay on my part because um, he's gonna obviously kill the four four with the somehow. Okay, silence. Okay. Is he gonna go face? That's a misplay on his part for sure. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, let's go ahead and so we're going to be. Okay, we're gonna be going here for sure. <laughs> Ooh, we do have one cost minion in our deck. And actually, go ahead and replay that hat. Play here. We we do have one cost minion in our deck. You see how overpowered this explorer hat can be yeah. for trading that into the 5-5. Five five. Get rid of that. <laughs> Alright. So he needs to be able to do 2 damage. And hopefully he doesn't have death rattles. And this guy had another fucking um, wow. wow. Never lucky. Wow. And I, did he? Is it just me or did he top deck that? He, yeah, he top deck that. That's <laughs> stupid. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, one two. Not the best start. We have actually haven't been having the worst draw ever. It's just um, our opponents have had some pretty good draw and we haven't been able to secure the tempo we need to secure the win. So we're gonna end that video at one two and in part two of this arena, we're gonna try to do the epic comeback all the way up to six wins. <laughs> so stay tuned, we will be back soon, okay? Peace Don't out. forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Also make sure to check out my brother's Mad Max playthrough. Uh, I believe he's on part four of probably it's going to be close to 40 or 50 by the time he's completely done with it. Yeah. Um, but so far, it's looking really good. You have anything to say about that before we head out? Um, not really, actually. Make sure you guys check out all videos like Mad Max and his other Hearthstone videos are all 
good. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right. Well, we will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.